Hi everyone. Today we will continue to explore the King Crab build which I've shown you in my previous video on this channel. Which is this particular uh, weapon loadout. I've talked a lot about this build in my previous uh, video. I've explained in detail all my reasoning behind the choice of these weapons, as well as I've mentioned the armor allocation there. So for that reason I am not going to waste uh, uh, much time reiterating on this subject in this video. If you would like to learn more uh, about uh, uh, the reasoning behind this build and how I came up with this kind of conclusion, please watch that section of my previous video. Now, one thing which unfortunately I forgot to mention in my previous video is that I forgot to show you the upgrades which I use for this build. So here are the upgrades. As you can see, I am reinforcing the internal uh, structure. I am refining the armor just to make this mech a bit stronger. And then I slightly increase uh, the rate of fire for all of the weapons here. It's not a lot, it's just, you know, a ma marginal. Uh, fiery, uh, firing rate increase, but it's still, you know, b better than nothing. And lastly, uh, the weapon groups, nothing fancy here. Pretty much straightforward, we don't really have all that many different kinds of weapons, so nothing special here, really. Alright, so let's go back to the slowdown. Now, I've already made a video about this, and it was actually a pretty successful raid mission, 100 difficulty level, we've completed all the objectives and we even destroyed uh, more enemy mechs than we actually had to in that vi video. So, it was a successful mission, why then am I making a second video about this build? Well, there are two main reasons for that. The first reason is that at the end of my previous video, I told you that because the King Crab may run out of its ammunition rather quickly, I will never take it to either a battlefield or a war zone a type of mission because uh, simply because we may not be able to stay uh, long enough past uh, negotiated contract time to earn some extra cash in bonuses. However, as soon as I said this, I kind of started war wondering, is this actually true? Have I ever tried actually taking this king crap to a battlefield mission? And uh, the answer was no. So if I've never tried this before, then why the hell uh, am I uh, making such a conclusion as if I know what I'm talking about, right? So for that matter, I decided to correct this and to see if um, it's actually true. So we will explore this build uh, in a battlefield uh, type of scenario. So that is the first reason. The second reason is that even though in the last video, like I said, I've shown you how it performs in a raid mission, which was like a hundred difficulty level raid mission, unfortunately it wasn't particularly a busy mission. We haven't really encountered all that many enemy mechs, and by the time uh, we've got done with this mission, I still have like uh, I, I still had a bunch of ammunition left. I only used up only like a half of the AC20 ammunition. So I felt like uh, I haven't really explored this build in depth in that video and I haven't shown you all of its potential. 
So for that matter, once again, uh, we are gonna actually take it to a battlefield uh, mission and see how many kills we can uh, get with, uh, with this particular configuration. And once again, as far as my lance is concerned, I am going to do exactly the same thing. I have, prefer uh, I have prepared all of this uh, identically built king crabs. Exactly the same loadout and the same set of upgrades for each. And for that reason, I came into this right nearby system. Because it's got that battlefield contract, let's go ahead and take it. So here we've got a, a somewhat um, a small uh, battle area, which is only like 11.8 square kilometers. Once again, it's a 100 difficulty level. Let's go ahead and negotiate this contract. The same negotiation points as usual for me. Let's confirm. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll keep exactly the same, you know, same mechs in here and exactly the same landsmates, which are actually all female landsmates. Let's go ahead and see if um, I was wrong about running out of uh, ammunition before... Uh, b b before we are able to stay past uh, negotiated contract time. Opportunities the longer you can hold them off, but be sure not to overextend yourself. Okay, so we need to go ahead and check in at this waypoint, but then I will actually walk back in here because this is most likely where we are going to be picked up as well as it's always the case uh, with these missions but first of course we need to get noticed by the enemies before they start sending us some mechs Tangos on Scorb, converging on your current position. Looks like we have a dropship coming behind this Moving factory building. So let's moving back to where we came from for now. New target I'm going to walk backwards so that I could Crap. fight Enemy back. Neck. Oh, come on, girls, don't shoot alarms through the buildings. Oh, 
That was a hit. Target destroyed. Okay. New target panther. That was a hit. That was a hit. Target nice. Engaging okay. Get rid of this charger, please. That mech is about to pop. Okay, let's keep Target moving. Acquired. Target destroyed. Reconnaissance flights show increased enemy presence in the vicinity. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Another dropship behind that building. What are they shooting at? The ah, okay. All right. Oh yeah, this is approximately where we came from. So the extraction point must be somewhere around here. New target Banshee. It's actually let's force those mechs into a close range combat let uh, let's let them come to us instead again you don't want to be chasing any enemy targets in these kinds of missions you should rather let them come to you let's just find a good firing position and let's wait until they get to us instead I wouldn't even waste any LRM-10 ammunition on on this max because I don't think it's worth it. Uh, the LRM-10 isn't going to do all that much damage to a mech. I will save it for some trash targets like, you know, tanks, ground vehicles, maybe even some, you know, aerial units. But uh, here I will be working mostly with the... AC-20 and PPC. Target mech eliminated. Okay. We did it. Okay. Looks like he doesn't want to come to us. Enemy forces continuing okay. to converge on your location. No, I think eventually Save he'll... Okay, commander. girls, let's move uh, down there. I don't... I don't want them to take too many Target enemy acquired. hits. This never gets old. Yeah, let's stay around here. Focus fire on Commander's target. I just messed that mech up. Okay, let's mess another one. We'll get him. Entering the combat zone's perimeter. Brace for additional contacts. It's kind of far. Actually, you know, let's see if we can snipe this. Just, you know, for fun. Oh, that was a miss. Okay, that was a hit. New target, Phoenix Hawk. We're on it, Commander. 
was a hit. here so we are required to destroy 24 enemy targets so far we've destroyed 17 New target, rifleman. okay let's get here let's let's get here let's force them into a close range combat instead let's not stay there come on girls what are you doing what are you doing get here stop stop get here Commander. Let's wait for them in here. Let's not take any enemy hits too soon. Target acquired. They will get here eventually. Okay. As soon as he shows up, we will start fighting him. Okay, get him now. You've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Confirmed, Commander. Moving on target. Expulsive to kill, Commander. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target Warhammer. Target acquired. Yeah, let's definitely wait for those guys in here. I think this is a pretty good firing location and it's a good straight place to take a combat. New target, Highlander. Uh, let's see what else is out here. Target acquired. They are still kind of far. Converge 
Okay. So we are done with all the mission requirements so far, and I still have 32 rounds of AC-20 left. So yeah, we can definitely stay past the negotiated contract time. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's see how many more kills we can get. Target destroyed. Target acquired. What do we get there? So we have one blackjack, and then some other mix. Yeah, I shouldn't waste the LRM-10 ammo on mechs. Let's actually get a direct view of this. Oops. Target destroyed. The Wolverine. Those are fast. They can definitely run really fast, so let's take care of this mech first. Interestingly, the Wolverines, they like dying as standing, you see, they don't fall, they like to be standing. Okay, so there was something else in there. Is it coming to us? No. What's going on? New target. Archer. Ah, jeez. Looks like that archer is stuck in there. It's not moving. Oh, man. We'll have to walk all the way down there to help him up. What a bummer. It's one of those bugs in this game. Let's see. Are we gonna do anything? Okay, are you really advancing or just saying this? Yeah, looks like he's just saying this. He's stuck. He's not really advancing, unfortunately. Oh, man. I hate that. I hate that. There's nothing really you can do about it. I mean... The least they could have done to mitigate for this problem, you know, like, let's say if a, a mech or a ground vehicle isn't moving for longer than one minute, it should, like, reappear at a nearby location. This is what, you know, the developers could have done to mitigate for this kind of problems, but unfortunately, even several years later after the release of the game they haven't really addressed this issue okay okay he's almost done his center torso in a horrible shape target shouldn't have wasted two of those rounds of AC-10, uh, one of them would have been enough here. As a matter of fact, one PPC would have been enough. Let's go back. Let's go back. Moving in file. And let's not get stuck in here. Please, 
don't get stuck in here. Come on, girls. Come on, come on, come on. Move it, move it. Let's uh, let's let's go back to our extraction point. We are too far. up with more targets converging on your position commander stay frosty Another rifleman coming Target as well. And the awesome. Okay. Let's meet them over Copy. here. We're moving, Commander. So I have only 16 rounds of AC-20 ammo and then 36 rounds of LRM-10. I wonder maybe at this point I should actually start using LRMs on mechs as well. We won't be able to stay here much longer, but we can still... I'm sure we can still devastate those two mechs. So rifleman can walk faster than that awesome variant. Let's say um, a missile based uh, awesome Let's destroy him before that awesome shows up. Hostile spotted. Okay. Early, Go for it. Trying to save my AC-20 armor. Not bad. Not bad. So far, so good. Target destroyed. Okay, so I still have 14 rounds of AC-20. Let's use them. Let's use them. Let's see what kind of shape my lance mates are. Uh, let's see this one. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, actually, pretty decent shape still. Okay, we can definitely still fight. Let's use up all of my ammo. Yeah, I mean... We can totally stay past a negotiated contract time, to my surprise. It's not all that bad. Indeed, I was uh, wrong about it. Yes, as you can see, you can totally take it to the battlefield mission. See, yeah, the, one of the arms is kinda damaged, but that's okay, we can still fight. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. 
That's kind of far. Tango down. We'll get him. Target acquired. Seven rounds of ammo left and twenty nine LRM ten. Um, not bad, not bad. Lances Oscar Mike. In position, Commander. I'm on station, Commander. Let's see how is this one doing so far. Yeah, it can still fight. We can definitely still fight. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. Target acquired. Let's let him get a bit closer. Target destroyed. One less target to worry about. Okay, so who are we getting this time around? I have only seven rounds of ammo left. I'm not sure if we should take this fight. Let's see who who are we getting there. Maybe I should get out New here. Target. Hunchback. Hunchback. Another rifleman. Looks like he might be stuck. Well, we can definitely still take this hunchback. That's for sure. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. But then there is, what is there? and then there is one centurion. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, let's see if we can take down these two. I'm not sure about the rifleman. You know, he first of all he's stuck. Yeah, he's definitely stuck. He's not moving. He's like dead still there. So let's see. Let's let's go ahead and take care of this. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Oops. Okay, so what's going on with this uh, rifleman? Oh, okay, I, I have no ammo left. No, a, no more AC-20 ammo for me. Let's see. Let's take a quick look. No, 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 you're not going anywhere. Stay there. Stay there, you're not going anywhere. No, we are we are going to leave. We are going to leave. Yeah, can't get a luck. Complete. I can't get a luck on that rifleman. It's so far. Reposition successful, Commander. So I have twenty-five uh, to now twenty-four rounds of AC twenty AC ten left. Let's see if I can do some 
critical damage to that rifleman, but no, there is no way I am gonna be walking all the way down there without any ammo left. It's impossible to get a luck. not gonna work. It's way, way too far. Looks like his leg is getting heavily hit. Right leg. Okay, his torso is in a bad shape. Okay, eight more rounds. Okay, okay, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, <laughs> let's get out here. Let's get out here. Moving into file formation, Commander. This is it. Not bad, not bad. Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. Whatever. Target acquired. Actually, hold on a second. There is a helicopter. Let's let's still take down this helicopter before we go. Or two. Okay, one is done. Okay, this is it. This is it. Let's get out. A job well done, Commander. Stand by for pickup. Indeed, it was a well done job. All right. Well, I guess I was wrong about taking the. I mean, not taking the King Crab to a battlefield mission. It can totally handle it. Let's see... What have we salvaged? Uh, I guess I will take this too. Maybe a large laser. Then we have a few more points. I would take this jump jet class one because they are kinda rare. And then I have two points left. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have another small laser. And then whatever. All right, all right. Well. 10 mech kills, uh, not bad at all, not bad at all for a king crab, 8 mech kills for this girl, uh, outstanding work, outstanding work for the AI pilot, then these are somewhat, you know, anywhere from average to mediocre, well, you know, it totally works, it totally works, yes, Yes, indeed, you can totally take the King Crab to a battlefield mission if you absolutely have to. Obviously, this is not the Annihilator. This is a King Crab. Yes, you will be running out of ammunition rather soon. You cannot get something like, you know, you probably can't get like 20 mech kills or... 22 or 24 like uh, like you can with the annihilator but still it's a very very formidable mech it can totally 
uh, do a lot of damage and it definitely holds a place of its own. I do like King Crab a lot. Now uh, let's see what are the damages. Obviously nothing serious, yeah, just a superficial armor damage. Pretty quick repairs, three days, and they will be good to go. Just, you know, the, the armor damage. All right, well, so uh, there you go, there you go. Yes, you can totally take it to a battlefield mission, and uh, you can totally be successful with this mech in those kinds of scenarios as well. Uh, again, you may not necessarily be able to, to do as many mech kills as you can, let's say, with the Annihilator, but still, uh, still, you know, you can do pretty well in those missions with this mech. I really like King Crab. I am not sure if uh, this mech, if this chassis is one of my all-time favorite mechs. I'm not sure about that, nevertheless, I like the King Crab a lot. I do like this mech a lot, and uh, I think it it definitely deserves uh, more attention than it gets from the community. It's a definitely capable and formidable mech. This is something to consider. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something today. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Let me know what you think uh, of this build. Uh, thanks again for watching and until the next video.